Guys, what's going on? Jeremy LaFrance of Backstage Entertainment. Sitting here with John from Ice Earth. John, what's going on? Omaha. Omaha. That's what's going on. You've going never on. been here before, nope. so what's, what's your, kind of your first take of it? Well, it's hot. Yeah, you caught us on a really <laughs> hot day. <laughs> I haven't really, I haven't done anything yet. I mean, I, haven't, I just uh, went to the hotel and took a shower. So, really? I, you know, yeah, I saw like about six blocks. Of, that's it. There you go. There you go. It's not not much. I mean, on the street that we're on, we're uh, at Soco Auditorium tonight in Omaha, Nebraska. Like we said, and not a whole lot around here right now. I mean, you got a Burger King across the street and stuff like that, but not a whole lot of sights to see yeah, around here. Stu had a bacon Sunday ah, from Burger King. Yeah, that, I heard those are new but now. There was so. a guy in the back eating fries out of the thing. He said it was the worst Burger King ever been in his life. So <laughs> <laughs> I don't doubt that. Yeah. But uh, anyway, yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> but uh, talk about this. You're currently on tour with Volby and Hell Yeah. I mean, Hell Yeah is not here tonight, but Volby. And a couple other bands tonight. What's kind of the experience been like with those two bands, especially? Um, it's been amazing with with Volbeat. I mean, hell yeah, are cool guys too. They haven't been at the last few shows. They had yeah. bus problems and right. whatnot. I think they have a record release party or something tonight. But um, you know, Volbeat has has been amazing to tour with. And Michael and I have been friends for a while and really good friends and had a uh, pretty much an instant bond from the time we met. So yeah. that's. Uh, it's a good, really great package. It's a great opportunity for, for Iced Earth to play to a different audience that uh, a lot of them are completely unaware of us. And so we're making new fans every night. And that's yeah. that's what this is all about. So it's great. Exactly. I mean, talking about the fans <clears throat> with, you know, Technology Day and everything, there's all these social networks out there that you guys can, you know, connect with fans and everything like that. What you guys have post webisodes. Other than that, what have you been doing to really kind of connect with the fans? Um, I mean... You know, we do video blogs and stuff. I guess you know, yeah. besides the webisodes, um, we on we do a headline run. We always do meet and greet kind of things. Um, not on this because this is a bull beat tour and we're support. You know, um, so you know, I mean, uh, we just we're always willing, and if we have time, we always talk and spend time with the fans. You know, some sometimes it's more difficult than others, right. especially for me because I always have a million things going on. But um, but I do. I do spend time with the fans every chance that I that I get, and they're around. I talk to them, and sign their stuff. So I mean, that's that's about it. I mean, we just we just are who we are. Yeah, you know? yeah. exactly. I mean, talking about uh, you know the band itself and everything. I mean, you guys formed in 1985, right. and I mean, so you've been around quite a bit. And just like any band that's been around for a while, you go through member changes, things like that. How have the how's the band and yourself especially kind of handled the member changes you've had and coming forward well you just move forward i mean if right. you <clears throat> you know I, I think it's different for some bands i mean if you're talking about the beatles or like led zeppelin or something it's really a band and it's in uh, every member is an integral part of the vision um even though those bands like certainly lennon and mccartney were the driving forces of the beatles from a writing perspective and i think otherwise but i mean it's you move forward you know if, and that's it's my vision has been pretty crystal clear since the beginning and um you know i just I'm not going to stop because somebody leaves the band or is asked to leave the band. I mean, yeah. it's just not it's not an option. I mean, Iced Earth has been a very steady vision. It's it's a it's a force of nature. I don't know where it comes from. It just does and it's been my motivation since the very beginning. I mean, I started it and um I'm I'm still here doing it, you know, yeah. 27 years later. I mean, you know, our first album came out in 1990, so we've We've been doing this a long time and have yeah. faced a, a hell of a lot of challenges. And uh, you know, I think I think a lot of bands would have would have broken up, but it's I just it's uh, that's not I don't quit. Yeah, you want to do what you love, so regardless yeah. of what happens to the band, you want to keep going. Right. Exactly. Your first album came out in 1990. You just released Dystopia, which is your guys' tenth album. It's actually the first one with Stu as the new lead singer. Yeah. What uh, has the fans' reaction been, and how have they kind of taken in this new album with Stu like that? killer it's a uh, it's a very uh very strong record the fan base is on fire the band's on fire we're uh we're killing it every night on tour uh, and having a lot of fun which is the most important thing you know i mean the, we uh there's a lot of love in the band and the crew we we uh we're, we just have a blast i mean sometimes too much fun yeah. you know what i mean especially you know Stu and i get on a roll sometimes and we <laughs> we carry on a little bit too hard once in a while but uh no i mean it's it's really great. Chemistry is great. The you can see the the air is burning, you know, and and uh, that's a good thing when we and when everything's, you know, you're always going to have those nights on tour. Sometimes Sundays or Mondays or whatever when people are like, ah, I got to work tomorrow. But 
it's uh, there's there's been some really magical nights on this, and we're you know we're going to film a live DVD in August okay. um, in Cyprus in an ancient theater, so um, we expect that to be pretty amazing because we played there in December last year, and it was uh, one of the best gigs in the history of the band. I mean, yeah. yeah, insane, insane crowd. So we're pretty pumped up about that. Good, we're good. Well, this next part of the interview, like I said, we have what's called this BSE box. We've had fans find us on Facebook. You guys can like our page, get your own questions in here. But we just had some fans submit questions to bands we want to uh, we interview. Okay. And so I want to warn you here, we have some pretty crazy ones in yeah, here. So okay. <laughs> feel free I would, to if, fast if one if I was you squeamish, want. I wouldn't be doing this. <laughs> All right. If I, could claim any yeah, song if I could claim any song written in history as my own, which would it be? Wow. About the Beatles and everything, they have some hit songs i'd say they do yeah they have yeah. a couple don't they <laughs> uh but i don't really think songwriting is about having make you know a hit i think it's about you know something that's really really personal and right. sincere what you know you, and right? a lot of times those hit but a lot of times you know really shallow pop crap hits as well because corporate america shoves it down the throats that's of the people right. so yep. <laughs> um you know i i don't really know man uh it's a lot to choose i probably uh i I can't really say a song, but okay. I could say um, an album, probably The Wall by Pink Floyd. Okay. You know, that would be yeah. that would be pretty badass. The greatest albums ever. Yeah, so. definitely. Exactly. All right, let's try another one here. Another one. What's the craziest thing a fan has asked me to sign? Probably get a lot of requests, I'm sure. Uh, any out of the ordinary ones. And you guys have had probably lots of things so yeah but no, i don't really i can't really think of anything crazy to sign i i have the craziest gift ever okay that's it, actually another question here too is but it yeah, let's, let's, let's hear a, the answer here a glass eye really during a during a meet and greet a guy said i know nobody's ever given you one of these and he gave me it was a little green plastic thing and i opened the lid and it was like dude oh, okay. there's a guy's eye <laughs> yeah in there. like take it out then no no i was <laughs> I, don't, I don't i think he would have probably known my reaction to that yeah, i don't know but exactly. uh, yeah it was that was that was do a you crazy have it scene. to this day still yeah yeah okay i have an archive of all that kind of stuff yeah. so yeah that's cool yeah, we keep we, we keep all the homemade banners that get thrown on the stage and yeah you know all the all the cool stuff that the fans give us yeah let's try one more and then we'll right. send you on your way all right <clears throat> hmm. <laughs> what's one of those crazy ones <laughs> yeah um What's the craziest thing a fan has offered to do for you backstage? Believe it or not, um, nothing really out of the ordinary. Really? Yeah. Just probably, you know, sign this kind of stuff, and that's. Yeah, know, I mean, you know, it's it's. Uh, I don't know. Ice Earth's fans are pretty, uh, pretty level-headed people. You know, Good. we haven't really had any of the bizarre, uh, crazy stuff. So, yeah. yeah. Okay. So I don't. I mean, I know it's probably a little boring, but hey, that's what we want to know that yeah. from you guys. I mean, we're backstage entertainment. We just want to know how you guys act with backstage and well, just I mean, what we, you guys do. We, we are a rolling frat house, so yeah. I mean, we act like animals. But it seems like our fans are a little more mellow than we are sometimes. Really? So okay. Yeah. Well, now you guys know that about them if you didn't already. <laughs> but uh, all right, uh, John. Any last words, kind of for the fans? And I mean, anything coming up or any message you want to leave them with? I mean, we're you know, Ice Earth is on the attack, and we'll uh, we'll be out there. You know, we're. We're moving. We've already. We're about 120 dates into the world tour, and uh, and there's a lot more coming. And we got some good stuff happening next year as well. So you know, we're going to Europe here in a couple of weeks, and then filming the live DVD in August. Then we've got more dates in Europe in uh, December. And just got announced. So, okay. and I, I'm sure there's going to be. We're really working towards <clears throat> doing more support uh, slots for bigger bands. You know, that's what. And the Volbeat thing is helping us yeah. with that. You know, get on the radar with different agents and stuff. So. We'll, we'll be around. There you go. You heard it from John, guys. Go check out Iced Earth, definitely. New album, Dystopia, is out. Just check them out. Hey, everyone. Make sure to like Backstage Entertainment on Facebook to see our photos, to enter yourself into contests for autographed prizes, and other news. Also, make sure to click the subscribe button on YouTube to check out the rest of our videos. And you can find us on Twitter to get updates about what we're doing. For Backstage Entertainment, this is Jeremy LaFrance.